The cool, wet growing season severely reduced the quality of a lot of wheat in the region. The falling number test is a measure of potential damage, but it can be confusing. A demonstration was given at the recent Prairie Grains Conference in Grand Forks. Jonathan Knudsen explains. Anything below 300 um, can lead to some different and use quality issues, sticky dough, different things, um, low volume, decreases in bread. Rhonda Line is a scientist with USDA's Federal Grain Inspection Service in Kansas City. She says the falling number test is important to both growers and buyers. Wheat with a falling number of under 300 is less attractive to millers and bakers and usually means less money for farmers. Unfortunately, it's been a bad year um, with all the rain and that leads to this enzyme is released because the wheat can actually start sprouting before harvest. In the test, wheat is ground into meal, water is added, and it's heated. The falling number is how many seconds it takes for the stirrer to fall to the bottom of the test tube. The faster it falls, the greater the potential damage to the wheat. So if you're making breads or noodles or any other product, it's going to affect the consistency of their baked products. It's going to affect the processing, the handling. As it's sitting on the shelf, those enzymes might still continue to degrade the bread. The test has been used since 1964. Though many growers have heard of it, they probably haven't seen it in actual operation. In Grand Forks, this is Jonathan Knudsen, for Egg Week. There are other tests that measure sprout damage, but the falling number test is most common.